Whether you're building your company's first major data center or looking to add to a portfolio of existing server environments, a key decision to be made is where you want to locate it. Here are 10 factors to consider when selecting a data center site. The most vital function of any data center is to keep its computing systems operational, so it's important to determine whether a site is likely to be impacted by a natural disaster. Research whether earthquakes, floods, hurricanes, ice storms, or other severe events have occurred there before. Understanding what hazards a site is prone to allows you to either mitigate them in your design, hardening the building against high winds, for example, or to avoid the area altogether. While considering what disasters can threaten a site, pay attention to nearby man-made hazards, too. Road construction or passing trains produce vibrations, factories emit contaminants, and if there's an airport in the area, you might be in the flight path, presenting the possibility of a plane crash. Infrastructure redundancy is the key to data center availability. If you're able to extend that redundancy beyond the electrical, mechanical, and cabling infrastructure within your site, so your data center is supported by power from dual electrical substations and connectivity from multiple service providers, so much the better. If you have more than one server environment, involve them in your planning. You probably want your data centers far enough apart so they're not all impacted by a single negative event, for instance. If you want to share data among facilities and have them provide failover capability for one another, you're going to want them within a certain distance of one another. Energy consumption represents the single greatest operational cost for data centers. Less expensive electrical rates can save hundreds of thousands of dollars per year for a major data center. If you're concerned about your company's carbon emissions, you want to know how the power supporting your data center is made. Energy produced from coal generates a lot more carbon emissions than that from wind or solar, for example. Determine the mix of the power provided to a site to better govern your data center's carbon footprint. Using outside air to cool your data center lets you avoid running the condensers in your mechanical system, saving energy and money. Research the typical weather conditions for a site. A cooler climate will allow you to use outside air for more time, which means more savings. Be aware of what tax implications, if any, the location of your data center will have. If your server environment enables customer transactions of a product or service, will regional tax rates come into play? If so, you want to know what those are. If you purchase a large number of servers, you also might want to consider the sales tax rate for the area. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the codes that apply to a site so your project isn't unexpectedly delayed when you discover that a technology you want to employ clashes with a local code. For example, did you know that in some countries, including several states within the United States, it's illegal to harvest rainwater? If you were intending to collect rainwater for your landscaping, that poses a problem. Finally, how near do you want your data center to its workforce? A remote facility might be advantageous if you prefer secrecy for your server environment. On the other hand, the longer the distance that support personnel have to commute to a data center, the longer it will take for them to get on site in the event of an outage and the greater their carbon emissions.